a short um, pearls of wisdom uh, a person was having with him uh, three precious gems with him three precious gems uh, precious so shining and so beautiful he had as in his possession uh, three gems and he didn't you know steal it or he didn't buy it he just uh, got it on the sides of the river three gems that he got on the sides of the river and he just put it in his pocket because he was uh, a man of no desires a man of no nothing no expectations a man who lived on bare necessities necessities of life he just wa- he just wanted to carry on with his life by sharing the pearls of wisdom and his knowledge and wisdom and just he wanted to ha- just have just three meals a day and carry on with his journey of life as he carried on with his journey of life along with the three pearls of wisdom he came across a person of a nearby village and that villager noticed in this man's bag something shining brightly these three gems were shining brightly and he asked him uh, the villager asked this person what is that shining so brightly can i know this man happily smilingly uh, showed him the three gems that he possessed with him and immediately the man the villager who was a little bit greedy uh, with just uh, is uh uh without thinking twice he just has the the man who possesses this gems uh, can you share one of the gems to me i am very poor i want to you know make my life better can you please share one of the gems with me so the man readily gifted one of the gems to this man he gifted this gem to this man and uh, of course the 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 man who possesses gems now had two more gems with him and the villager was so happy that he went along and he took the pearl of uh, gems with him along with him and he showed his family members that what he got to the, in his in the forest where the the man gave him the gem and he took the gem to one of the jewelers in the city and he has gem what was the price of this gem and can he get something in return so that he can make his life better the jeweler was shocked by seeing the gem and said it was so priceless and it is so priceless that he can give him any amount he wished for and the villager was so excited that he asked for some huge amount of money and huge bag of gold and there the jeweler was so happy to possess the gem and he gave the man the bag of gold for this gem that the villager shared with the the jeweler and the jeweler exchanged this gem for a bag of gold so then the village the villager was happy enough he built a house he built all he got all the wealthy uh, things in his house expensive things he got his uh, wife the gold he got his kids all the things they required and he was happy enough but later upon as he didn't do any work his gems uh, is all his gold got emptied and again he went again to the with the man and asked because he had two more gems left with him so he asked him can he part with one more gem so that he can be you know be happy for some more time he said the villager said the, the monk said yes of course you can have one more gem i can share because i have two more so you can have this one more gem with you can you please take it so that you can be happy enough so then he got the other gem to but the the monk had one last gem with him and the villager again 
purchased all good things all the wealthy things all the desires he've got it fulfilled but again is all his money went all in vain because he never worked for a living he just spent the money and and he lost all the money and again he thought of the monk who had one last gem with him so he went to the monk and asked for the one last gem with him and he said please give me this last gem so that i can be happy enough because i have lost all my money by just spending it away so the monk smiled and he said please take it away you can have it too so there the last gem was uh given to the villager and the monk with uh, smilingly he the, just uh, was happy enough to share the uh, whatever things he had with the villager and there was he was empty enough now so and the villager again spent all the things and now this time he wondered how could the monk be so innocent so you know sharing and caring so needy for the for me so you know no no he can he fulfilled all my desires without thinking twice for, for himself being a rich man he made me a rich man with all these gems why didn't i think of that love that he shared with me that love with that the the monk had shared all the three gems without just thinking twice he had shared it with the man who who wanted it and that man now realized the real gem that was uh, the love and kindness that the monk had possessed, possessed with them so this time he went to the monk and bowed to him and asked him for one last time please can you part with the last gem that you have and this time monk was surprised he said i have nothing with me i given everything to you the man remarked no sir your act of kindness your love your you are thinking of the needs of me you are thinking of you never you never thought twice when you parted with the gems you always just gave it away without thinking about the priceless gems value that love that you possess that you no know, caring and sharing that you possess for the others can i have that gem so then and then then and there the man had realized the real gem in life was not the gems that the uh, monk possessed but the monk that possessed was his love for the for the human uh, no humanity that was his real gem the real gem was his love for humanity and love that you know he could share it without giving a second thought he could share all the possessions that he had with others to make them happy and make a happy living out of their lives that was the real gem of life